name is Michael Mendelson. I'm in Novato, California. I got a phone call from a man named Menachem Landa. He said, hi, are you Michael Mendelson? I've heard so much about you. I'm here to establish a Chabad in your town, in your city. Would you be interested in being part of my congregation? And I immediately felt, wow, I've been waiting for you for 62 years to be my rabbi, and now you're here. I'm so grateful. I needed a sense of community, very lonely just being a Jew in a not Jewish part of the world. Uh, a lot of great Jews here, a lot of important, famous Jews, but uh, it's still a lonely existence when you don't have a congregation to belong to. And when the rabbi came here with his family to establish a synagogue right here in Novato, I was felt blessed. I feel like I'm part of the rabbi's team. I'm one of his right hand men. If there was an army, I'm, I'm one of his, his, his lieutenants. And I'm very grateful to be uh, appreciated. I'm just one of, the, one of the Jews, but on the other hand, I feel like I'm an important member of the, this Chabad. And I know uh, the Chabad's like my headquarters because on a daily basis, I'm of service. That's what my life is all about, coincidentally. So Chabad works for me. I like the, uh, the ideals, the values, and so, uh, I feel like I, I belong to a part of a, of a team, I'll say it again, uh, a group. It, it, it's like I was reborn. The day that you set foot in Novato, all of a sudden I belonged to a brotherhood, sisterhood, a group of people who we shared the same interest and background and religion and culture. And so my life is been a hundred percent more meaningful since the Landas came to Novato and I got to say I mentioned Landas in plural because the rabbi brings a wonderful family with him. The rabbi is like our quarterback for our team and uh, and we're winning. We're, 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 uh, we're doing very well and uh, in the in the years that I've known the rabbi he's come from renting an office space for us to actually having a synagogue here, a temple that we can call our own. And I'm very grateful that so many people have helped make it happen. Uh, I'm not able to help financially very well, but uh, in spirit I've got a million tons of fuel for you. If you've never heard of Chabad, I, I, I think of it as being of service. The two words, of service, dedicated to helping others. It doesn't matter what religion or, or uh, as long as people are honest and, 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 and loving. Uh, I know as a representative of Chabad, I'll do anything I can to help them. And I, I must say that uh, it may seem insignificant, but little things make me happy. And one of those little things is a huge thing in my life, and that's the rabbi's wife makes the best salad dressing. And I'm not kidding, it's just fabulous. It reminds me of my grandmother on my mother's side. And, um, it, you know, you've got to get some joy out of every bite and uh, her salad dressing. And, oh, she makes a very good challah, too. Um, and, you know, uh, they, they get the best gefilte fish in the, in the, in the country for us. And we appreciate everything that the rabbi does. He's walking to shul in the rain and the wind, and it's a miserable walk. And everybody's honking and waving. They love the rabbi here in, in this town, Novato, not known as a Jewish hotbed. But uh, it, the rabbi being here has brought the Jews out of the woodwork, and we congregate. I think the Jews everywhere in the world need to belong to a Chabad or a, an organization that they can feel that they're part of. Everybody on the earth needs to think of their brothers and sisters to make it a better place. 
and uh, knowing that the rabbi is, is, is here or there for me at any time to answer a question or help me through some tough times, uh, that's priceless to me, very much priceless. The rabbi is truly makes so many people's lives better. He saves so many people and in times of grieving, he's comforted those who need comfort and sharing his wisdom. And I gotta say, his wife stands shoulder to shoulder with him and he wouldn't be as great a man as he is without her. I think that's a fair statement. Uh, she's a very powerful woman in her own right and she's a very important leader of, this, of the sisterhood here in, uh, in Marin County.